Call me Bobiana the Builder. This is too cute. So I need a bigger size. You never need a bigger size, honey. You never need a bigger size. Come here. Squeeze those cheeks. Squeeze those cheeks, sister. And I can't even really see myself. But anyways, hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry Renee. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe, especially if you are new, okay, girl. Make sure you like this video. Today is gonna be a vloggy vlog. So if you're into that type of stuff, then this content is specifically for you. Okay, we're doing a day in the life. I'm not the one to do a whole like week in the life because girl, I got too much stuff to do and I have a 95. So baby, most of the time I am working, okay but today is saturday we're out and about just did my makeup because i had to film some content i showed you guys that and it came out really really good like it's basically giving flawless okay if my skin was superb this would eat eats right now it's still eating you know it'll be a little bit more so let me tell y'all about what i did yesterday i completely gutted out my closet that is in the front of my house it's literally the first door that you see and it's my coat closet right but i don't have a linen closet it's honestly embarrassing how i have been organizing my linen like i've been storing it with my clothes that's so ghetto i just feel like if you're 26 years old and you got your own apartment baby you need a linen closet so i was like let me gut out this coat closet because there ain't not a damn coat in there i was using it as my everything closet so um luckily my apartment does come with storage and it's on my balcony and the only thing that was in there really was some bins from moving in and my um christmas tree and my christmas decoration so i was like let's put all this stuff outside it's secure it's literally on my balcony no one's ever gonna get on it i mean like no one can ever get in it unless they're in my apartment so gutted it out cleaned it out i installed some um hanging shelves that i had just laying around and i didn't decorated it and it looks really nice and put together i'm gonna insert the footage for y'all so y'all can see <sighs> okay you guys so this is the starting point this is a catastrophe as you can see i'm so embarrassed to be showing this on beyonce's internet but like i said earlier this is my everything closet if things don't have a designated home in my house they live in here baby and I cannot continue to live like this. I gutted everything out, so now we have a fresh starting point. And it's like, this closet has potential, but the way it was set up, it just wasn't enough for me. Like, Smokey Mama said, make it enough. And baby, I'm gonna make it enough, okay? So under this shelf right here, because this rack is not enough, I'm gonna add in my floating shelves from Amazon, and we're also gonna put some hangers on the side, and we're gonna make do with this space that we have, okay? So, once again, y'all, I'm so damn ghetto. These are flower vases from Amazon, linked in the description box. <laughs> um, I rarely use them for flowers, so I say why not store my laundry stuff in these so it can be cute and aesthetically pleasing in my closet and just add some color. Because as you're going to see later, a lot of my stuff is like beige and cream, and it was just looking too sad. So, these are the best 
laundry pots ever y'all the gentle and clean ones they smell so fresh and they're really good for your skin especially if you have sensitive skin or like children in your home i love them but yeah i'm gonna use these for that don't ain't it so cute and i'm gonna get some other ones for like my liquids but i'm gonna put y'all on i saw the motherfuckers in the dollar tree girl for like 2 dollars and they're like $20 on Amazon. So we're going to go to the Dollar Tree sooner or later. So now let's get into putting up the floaty shelves. They're so easy to install. They come with a mount. All you have to do is mark where you want to add them, put in the screws, and then literally slide on the shelf. So easy. They store a lot, but make sure not to put too like heavy items on there because they will start leaning. That's what happened in my bathroom, so I had to take them down. But yeah, you guys, once I installed them, I started putting everything up. I love how I did that little edit right there. And um, y'all are going to see when I go to Bath and Body Works, but they had a sale, girl. The soap was on sale for $2.95, and the wallflower is like 5 for 27 So, yeah. On who my closet ain't tea. Like, what? Y'all saw the starting point. This is magnificent. Like, let's really get into it. Call me Bobbiana the Builder. Who needs a man? I still need a man. My man. But I did that. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, it's so organized. It's so put together. I can see everything. Don't gotta wonder where anything is at. Up here we got, you know, paper towels, toilet tissue, and my little dish, my little like um pods for the washer and the beads and stuff, all that good stuff. I'm gonna get other containers for the liquids and we're gonna put them up there too, but I need the ones with the tops, honey. And then everything in here is like, you know, things you need for the restaurant. So extra booty wipes. This is a scrub. I'm actually probably gonna put that in my shower tonight. In here are extra like small towels, like hand towels. Um, face wash, you know, wash rags and stuff like that. And like towels for my kitchen. Um, and then in here it's bedding. And it's all nice and folded and color coordinated. I put a rug in here. I don't know why, girl, just because the floor is dusty because it's scratched up from stuff. Um, and then I'm probably going to hang, I'm going to leave these hangers for people, you know, my guests when they come over and they have coats. They can hang it up right there. I'm so proud of myself. I know that's fucking right. So yeah, these floating shelves are on my Amazon storefront as well as these little hangers. I have these in my bathroom as well. Absolutely love them. They're so sturdy. And then when you want to put them up because you don't, I don't know, you just want them out the way. They fold up. I love it. So check my Amazon storefront out. It's in the description. So yeah, girl, she's cute. Um, right now I'm outside of Bath and Body Works because they are having a sale and I need some soaps and some smell goods for like my wallflower plugs and whatnot. So we're going to go in here, see what they got, rack up with some things so I can, that's the last thing that I need to put in my closet. Um, yeah, and then we're going to go to Zara. We may go to Pink because I saw someone had a set that looked like Skims and girl, it was from Pink. So I don't know what we're going to see in there. Might get some things from there. Definitely gonna go in the Zara. I don't know if I'm gonna go in the Nordstroms yet to see the actual skims area. Um, but I need some stuff because I'm going somewhere next weekend. I don't have anything to wear and I hate that for me. And I have to go into the office this week on Thursday coming up and I need new work clothes too. So we're just gonna see. All right, so come along with me. Let's go shopping, girl. I saw this it's too big. This is a large. Yeah. Huh? It makes my butt look flat. I don't like that. Right? Yeah. See? I like how long. I don't like that. Which one? It's like I will have to get this tailored. Who has time for that? And this is like I don't know. And I'm bloated because I just ate. Lord have mercy. So I'm getting this for sure. This is gonna be for work. I'm gonna like fold it here and put it in my trousers. Can't show you where the hide is. Girl, I'm not trying to get demonetized. I'm not trying to 
you know, show y'all my goodies. But I'm gonna wear some um, cream trousers under this. What's my black loafers? My bag is cream too. I need a black bag that would really like how to hold fit in. Will my hair just like this? Most likely, it's gonna be so much cuter when like the pants are showing. Yeah, gold jewelry. Mhm. Mm I feel like this is a very essential shirt. I feel like this is a very essential shirt. You're gonna need this to work, bro. They got a lot of colors too. They had green, pink, and white, and blue, but then another variation of stripe. Um, and it's not quality. We love that. This pump is on my mind. But I look so good. Y'all see how the makeup is eating? I know that's right. You guys, my battery is dying. Oh my God. But this dress, I need a large. Don't do me on a tummy I just ate. I need a bigger dressing room, but this dress beats the color is so pretty oh my god and then the slits beautiful this is so pretty the mustard color beautiful the slit beautiful the fit and it's really long this is too cute but i need a bigger size you never need a bigger size honey <laughs> squeeze those cheeks <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is the last thing, but it's a bust because I'm way too short. Like, this doesn't even look cute how I saw it on other people. I'm 5'2", for reference. It's way too short. I mean, it's too long, and I'm too short. That's what I meant. Super nice fit, though, but... For $90, I'm not about to look like a midget. Like, this ain't cute. This ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> okay, you guys, well, I'm gonna see y'all when I get home because don't shit fit me. It's like I need a marge. Like a medium and a large needs to blend together. I need a marge in things or I just need to get myself big and tailor it, but who has time for that? So anyways, see you guys at home. So we're making chicken parm and y'all are probably like, what are those little yellow things in your sauce? It's squash. It's squash, girl. If you haven't been paying attention to my channel, which I'm sure you have because you, you mess with me and I mess with you. But yeah, I'm on this like healthy journey. So I'm always trying to find new and cool ways to like incorporate veggies into my meal. So when you think of chicken parmesan, you just think of pasta and chicken. You don't really think of vegetables. So I've been trying to hide vegetables in my meals in any way that I can. Like I'm a child sometimes because you just got to get rid of things, right? So yeah, we got our sauce going, our chicken is all done, and our noodles are cooking. We about to put this all together and eat real good. Boom, I got my linguine noodles already. Linguine over fettuccine, supremacy forever. I feel like fettuccine is just too fucking thick. Let me stop cursing. I said I was going to stop cursing in 2023. Come on. I'm trying to do better in life. <laughs> But I'm putting in my sauce. I have this like exact recipe on TikTok if y'all are interested. Also, if y'all want like in-depth cooking tutorials, comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see on my channel. Don't you worry. I'm gonna mix that all in. But first I'm just gonna add some more mozzarella cheese just because I feel like this meal is supposed to be heavy in mozzarella. We gotta do it one time for the one time for the Italians. It's like, nah, they probably actually hate the way I cook. <laughs> Cause it's not super authentic. I like myself super saucy. So we have more sauce than noodles. Hmm, sounds familiar. <laughs> I play entirely too much. So I'm actually gonna let this sit and just 
allow the noodles and the sauce to actually like stick to one another because I don't like when it's like super runny. Ooh, y'all saw that cheese pull? So yeah, I'm gonna let that sit and I'm gonna make sure that my chicken tastes good on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and chop my chicken up first just because it'll be easier to eat it that way. And then I'll lay it on top of the noodles and the sauce. Y'all hear that crunch? It's all in the breading. The way I bread it is I add, um, I do flour, just flour, and then I do an egg wash, and then I do a final coat of breading, like breadcrumbs, with flour mixed. And make sure you season your flour. I want to be cute for the video and the thumbnail picture, but I definitely gotta taste this because <laughs> just to make sure. Mm hmm. All right, I have waited long enough. It is time to feed, so I'm gonna put my pasta down first. Last time I made this, I put the pasta down, I put the sauce on the salt. I don't know why I did that because I don't even like when people do their spaghetti like that, so that was a that should have been a dub. That should have been a dub of an idea from Jump. Clean my plate off because I'm fake bougie. It's only for a thumbnail, y'all. Swear. Like, if it wasn't for my need of a thumbnail, this would be on a paper plate. And I ain't capping to you because who's doing dishes? Like, who wants to do that? Oh, that looks so stinking good. I saved a little bit of sauce for the top. Adding parsley, because that's just what black folks do. <laughs> and I'm going to top with more cheese, just because it's really for the garnish or whatever. And bon appetit, y'all. You can't tell me that don't look too good. Chef her in a building. I know that's right. This plate had its hair put in the microwave. I'm so sorry that I'm not on the camera, you guys. It's probably going to be the last portion of this vloggy vlog. But if you enjoy, definitely give me a like. Comment down below what you thought of the meal, the shopping, everything. I'm going to have to make my way back to Zara because they had some cute stuff. But they ain't had my sizes, y'all. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to pour me up some wine and enjoy my meal. Bye, guys. Mwah. Oh.